All right, well, I've made a return trip to Peckville to the Peckville Christmas House, but this time I am with Randy from Emerald Town Productions, who has disappeared into the darkness already, who is already in awe with the display, and we're not even in front of the house yet. So we're going to take a walk down. He's going to have a look and see for himself all the crazy Christmas spirit that is the Peckville Christmas House. All right, so we are walking around. We've already been walking around for quite a bit of time. We did run into Matt. I thought he wasn't going to be here, but he's uh, going to be at the other house, at his friend's house, that uh, if you guys caught JP Video's video over the weekend, the second one, we're going to be going there next, which sadly I haven't watched it yet, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. So now I get to see it for myself before I watch his video, and then also video it myself. And as well as Randy video, will video it him himself too. So uh, Randy is just in awe. So I'm just kind of—I don't know how much filming I'll actually get done of this one, but I'm kind of walking around with him and explaining things and helping him with his video, so that pointing things out so that he sees things that you know, the extra set of eyes. So we'll see how this one goes for us. All right, so walking around we did find the flag I do have the list on we found a bunch on his video so <laughs> I'll try to walk around and catch go back and remember where they were all at there's uh, some pigs right here they weren't on the list no I know and then you got the reindeer and the little fenced in corral again all right so we made it back to the Halloween section <laughs> you can see there's Quite a selection here. And then over here we got more more of the Christmas. And then also a look. It is busy tonight. There are a lot of people here tonight. So that just goes to show you. Even though it's a couple days after Christmas, it's still attracting a lot of people to come out and see it. And it's still going until January 7th, so there may be quite a few people coming out to check it out but until then. All right, well, uh, it's dark and you can't see me. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up from here. Uh, but I am going to make this a, a two. I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to give you uh, the next location. Uh, of Matt's friend and uh, the spot where JP had already videoed that you guys saw and make that all one video since I really didn't get much footage here. This was just kind of more of an update and helping Randy out so that he could see what was what there is involved in the Peckville house. So uh, we're going to hop in the car, warm up and take the 25 minute drive up to the next location and for you guys it'll be And just like that, we are now here. And what an impressive display this is already from what we're seeing from the road. And quite a different setting too. As you saw a second ago for you guys, we were in a town setting. Now we're out in the middle of nowhere setting, which is right up my alley. <laughs> There's a smoking cross there with a uh, fog machine in it, but smoking his pipe that is really cool all right so as you can see from this display this one actually goes up into the front yard he has two acres here and it goes all the way around the house as well as in the front yard then over here in the side yard and like i said this is more of a rural area so he has a longer driveway so he would actually park out on the road and walk in through the gate at the end to get in here uh randy and i are kind of splitting it up splitting up so he can get down here and we're not talking over each other but there's different walkways going through plus with the storm that we had not too long ago we have snow on the ground here which is a little different from back home right now because i have no snow at home <laughs> plus we noticed the difference coming up from matt's house in peckville 
up to here that it got the snow got to be more and more and more so you do have a mixture of different things obviously there's a lot of blow molds he does not have a count a total count of them so we don't know exactly how many he has and he doesn't even know how many he has but he's figuring probably around a thousand give or take more or less so um so i guess we'll head up this way he also has a little right up in here a little play area for kids i think some ice just fell behind us the house next door <laughs> um a lot of Santas, and I did find my childhood. I know last year I was trying to find the one, remember the one that I had growing up. It's up there in the corner, so we'll get to that when we get up there. We kind of did a walkthrough already just to get a lay of the land because he went in the house to warm up. But uh, this is the little play area for kids. So if your kids are here, they can play in this area to keep from running around in the display itself. Um, you got, again, different Santas, different, uh, Mrs. Clauses. This is neat because this book is actually blown up from a 60s book, so it's a coloring book, but you can get your photos taken with it, you can pose with it, and you can actually, there's crayons here that you can pose with the crayons and make it look like you're coloring in the pictures. So that's kind of neat. There's a couple different spots throughout the display where you can pose for pictures. So I was saying there's pathways that you can walk through and look at the entire display. And then also a lot of these um, things in the back here with the lights and stuff on he welded a lot of that and made a lot of that himself as we get up further you'll see i'll show you some things this 14 foot tree um he did actually have a problem where the wind blew it over so he had to kind of rig it back up but he has plans to strengthen that for next year um over here we got some mailboxes drop your letters to Santa yeah so like this stuff a lot of the stuff he made and welded together to put the lights and stuff on there's that fire hydrant again like we saw it Peckville house so there's a lot of duplicates that we saw at Peckville house and no they don't shop at the same store I did ask that question <laughs> There's some Easter bunnies. A lot to see. That one's kind of cool. It's like it's waving or something. There's some reindeer. And then up here, that's the same one that I had growing up as a kid. That's the one that I was explaining last year in last year's video that my dad put transmission parts in it to keep it from blowing over in the wind. <laughs> nope, there's an alien. Now mind you, I jp videos was just here recently and put this video out on uh christmas weekend so i did want to mention that so you guys probably have already seen that but uh for those of you who haven't seen it i will link that in the description below as well unfortunately as of this point right now i haven't watched that one yet but it is on my playlist to uh to watch that so i will check that out probably before i edit this now <laughs> I just kind of got tied up with other things that I didn't get to watch it yet. But I did watch the other one that he did of Noah's display, which was really cool. And I noticed um, Matt Beckville House had the uh, the Santa that would be go that would go in the chimney with the lantern because I remember him explaining the one that he has doesn't have the lantern in his hand, and there'd be a hole for it. 
well Matt has that one up on displayed up on the bushes there so I was mentioning that in Randy's video so you'll probably catch that in his as well oh look at the penguins <laughs> I miss those it's the penguins with the rockets what movie is that from is that yeah that was uh Batman penguin nice <laughs> That's really cool. <clears throat> There's a giant reef here with a bunch of different ornaments on it. And here's more of the stuff, the creations he made out of metal to uh, put the garland and things on, the ornaments and the lights. The giant light bulbs here. Here's the <laughs> Hawaii version of Santa. He's got his pina colada there and hula, hula skirt, a bunch of pink flamingos around him. He's even a palm tree. And then over here we got Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So now there's some here that there's more of the penguins with the rockets. <laughs> seen a lot that I haven't seen before. And over here you got some carolers. Pooh bear over there. There's a Tigger, Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy. There's the Three Stooges. <laughs> a little different than Matt's. <laughs> and he does paint some of them. The, like He repaints a lot of them. Oh, there's Minions. Um, so some of them have gotten repainted. And he actually does a pretty good job. I know Matt was saying that it's hard to paint them. So looking at the ones that have been repainted here, he did a really nice job with them. So... All right, so continuing on up this way, <clears throat> more of the homemade creations. This one's interesting. It's a big star that he said was one of the first ones that he made back in the early decorating days. So it's a bunch of different blow molds on a star that he welded together and mounted them on there. So that's really cool. To see that and he stores a lot he says he stores a lot of this stuff how you see it so it comes out just how you see it and they got this huge pole barn back here with pallet racks that he keeps everything on right on the property so it's not far not that far to go and there's uh some clear ones here with different color light bulbs in them they're actually changing colors. And this is oh, a giant set of angel wings, it looks like. So this is a little heartwarming here. A little memorial to his dog. Who lived to be 20 years old. So he kind of set this up to be... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here to be uh, he was just out here explaining it <laughs> to not be sad to be more happy you know to be a way of remembering remembering him because he would come out and uh, and his name is Courage here's a picture of him right here Here's a little plush, plush guy to look like him, but uh, yeah, so he's 23 years old and he had this dog pretty much his entire life and he would come out and be sociable with people while they were walking around checking out the display, so he just wanted to memorialize him 
in a in a nice way so this is what he came up with and it's really nice it's really gives you that feeling of you know gives you almost like a church bright feeling you know to remember them in a good way uh, very nicely done very very cool creation there So here's a look back in the front yard. Here Randy's making his way through. And then this is the walkway through the backyard. Now here's something interesting too. You look at these tall angels up here. These are from 1968. And he said that they were rotting away in a field for 40 years. And he saved them and fixed them up and welded up new parts for them to get them up and and displayed even the trumpets he had to make the trumpets to replace the original ones to uh show yeah i'm gonna lost for word here sorry <laughs> so he made the trumpets they're custom made out of steel and they actually have the ends are plastic funnels which are kind of cool and then uh there's some more like the abc blocks here more of the big lights Christmas lights so again it's like a mixture of different items it's not just one thing plus the the homemade factor is really cool too on some of them walking through here Get different ornaments and lights and then the the uh, I, guess, I don't know if you would call that garland but it's like tree material I forget what they call that I'm sure you guys in the comments can uh, help me out with that there's another one too this tree here he says he leaves it just how it is he stores it just how it is I don't know if we can actually see the pole barn but it's right back there which is kind of interesting too because he, he mentioned that when uh, the showstopper happened that he actually roller skates around in there so he had things set up and did the whole 80s themed roller skating like a roller rink back there just to occupy his time and and keep keep his sanity during the the world shutdown <laughs> there you got presents under the tree some more of the homemade creations back there. Yeah, here's an example of, you can see this, a piece of rebar here. And he welded all this stuff together to make this. So this is all custom made by him. Here's another photo op place spot where you can pose and get your picture taken. go there's my pose there's the candles lining the entire driveway on both sides oh, there's a big reindeer I've actually seen this in stores this is this is more modern you see it's got the LED lights in it I forget what stores I've seen that in but that's more modern oh here on the garage you got Santa and his sleigh and all the reindeer including Rudolph up on the roof which looks very similar to the one from uh, Christmas Vacation. May even be the same one. And back over here, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear the motor going. Up on the porch there, you got Santa and the snowman from the 60s. 60s, I think late 60s, he said. Uh, the motors are still standing the test of time. Oh, this one, too. Yeah, if you look at these guys right here, give me a shot right here. They're 
moving around, swaying around. And we got more, lots of snowmen, different varieties, different types. There's these guys here again. nose here we got the farmyard looks like <laughs> there's a pelican a swan uh, what is that a pheasant I think it's a pheasant I'm not sure pig some of these were the the banks like piggy banks the cow <clears throat> Santa and Mrs. Claus together. So we'll go over here. Look at the giant stocking right there under the tree. There's the manger scene. He's even got the municipal style lights hanging under the trees here. And with the snow, it's been, he says, it's been a chore with uh, keeping these pathways clear, having to shovel them and then Keep them so as safe as possible so people don't slip and fall. So we're pretty much just looking at backsides here. <laughs> There's the back of the manger scene. Oh. <laughs> Somebody got creative in the snow. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> so this is supposed to be a walkway here, but he didn't shovel it. It just got to be too much for him, he said. There's another one of these municipal lights here. There's more of them throughout this area. Light bulb. Yeah, these, these are more modern. You see these throughout towns and stuff. These nowadays. There's even a Christmas tree down here. Another Santa. Season's greetings. Oh, that must have been Courage's doghouse. Hmm. Just storage now. And as you saw from the beginning here, this is, his name is Nicholas, so this is St. Nick's Display. And that looks like it was custom built by him as well. Looks like, oh, there's a dumpster behind it. Okay, so it's just leaning against the dumpster. And he does accept the donations. It's not, you know, it's pretty much up to you if you want to donate. 
it definitely helps with the electric bill and stuff. So we'll make sure to drop in a donation for them. And then, uh, yeah, here's looking back the front yard again. All right, so we'll use the uh, giant coloring book for our backdrop. <gasps> Color in the tree here. <laughs> Ooh, can you hear that? It's got a little hole in the end of it, so it makes window. Oh, it's a it's a coin bank. So you can put coins in the top. There's another one where you can put coins in the top, and then there's the thing to get them out through the bottom. That's pretty clever. So, I'm going to use this as the backdrop to call this the end of this video. So make sure to put down in the comments what your favorite, what was your favorite item in the display? Was it uh, blow mold? Was it uh, one of his custom creations of making um, any of the custom creations? Uh, the municipal stuff, I mean, there, there's just so much here, I can't really say that I have a favorite, but obviously, now that I'm getting hooked on the blow molds, that's uh, making me want to start finding them and collecting them myself and doing a display myself, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very overwhelming, there's a lot to see, and uh, I want to thank Nicholas for letting us film this, taking the opportunity to film it. Also for Randy for being the taxi driver for the day and uh, taking me out to the different places that we went to explore down in Pottstown this morning and then made our way up here to see the Peckville house and St. Nick's display here. Um, also Matt from Peckville house for what he do, everything that he does with his display as well. So uh, like I said, I will put a link to Jay's video for those of you who haven't seen it yet because I know I gotta watch it I'm bad I know I'm guilty <laughs> I will watch it though um, also put the link to my previous video and last year's video of the Peckville house Randy's video Jay's videos you, know, you, know, you just go to the description below you'll see all the links <laughs> just pick one and watch it <laughs> make sure to give them all thumbs ups um, and also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and would like to subscribe, we'll definitely appreciate it. And uh, you'll get to see more content of all the different wild, crazy adventures that I do and cool stuff that I'm into. So hopefully you find some stuff that you're into that I'm into and want to watch more. So, so I want to thank you for watching and catch you in the next one and also wish you all a very happy new year since this is after Christmas now. We're on December 28th right now. So I wish you all a new, uh, happy new year 2023 and uh, look forward to Christmas 2023 because we'll, we'll probably come back out and see these displays again next year. Thanks for watching.